all right everyone hello this is my very first video ever for the youtube channel i'm really guys excited about this one i'm not really sure how it's gonna go it might be going well with my go but please excuse me but this is my first goal yeah so trial and, trial and error leave it back at the end okay so let's get started then okay who am i guys i am Vasil. um i'm a strength conditioning student at college university i've been working as a personal trainer for the last two years I have a really big ambition to go into um, strength conditioning. I want to work towards my UK ACA accreditation. And I have big ambitions, guys, you know. I want to start working um, initially a lot with combat sports athletes in the UK. They might go somewhere around the world. And I have some bigger plans, which I want to really, uh, review for now. Only a few people know, know about that one. Simply because I don't want anyone else to steal my idea, yeah, that is my personal kind of thing. Anyway, so, then we want to talk guys about the importance of strength and conditioning. So what's strength and conditioning and why it's important? In case that just from uh, the name of the discipline you can understand what's going on. So strength, what is strength? That is the ability to exert maximum force. And there are different types of strength different classifications and things that come out of it like speed, speed, strength, power, etc, etc, etc. There are a lot of things, but essentially what it means make you strong, powerful, explosive, fit enough for your sport so you can perform better. Okay, so why is this important? It's important because a lot of the sports, I would say 99% of the sports, maybe even 100% of the sports, they require some kind of physical uh, conditioning and development. If you're not ready to play your sport, you won't perform as well. Okay, for instance, let's see that one. When it comes to track and field, that's just, I guess, the easiest uh, example to give you guys. Uh, imagine sprinting, uh, javelin throw, pole vault, and triple jump. All these sports require huge amounts of force production, strength, and power. Yeah, so if you don't have these, you probably won't become a good athlete. Luckily, yeah, these training variables they can be trained, so you can become better at them. You know, so I'm not trying to take anything out of um, track and field athletes. I'm just saying that training for sport, like training power, strength, and all these uh, variables are important. Of course, there is a huge amount of skill. I mean. You might be really strong and really powerful, but if you don't develop that technique and those skills to perform well at your sport, you won't, you won't be able to achieve that high level either. Yeah, so it's a combination of both. So you have your track and field coach, it might be your sprint coach or your pole vault coach or whatever uh, his job is, and you have strength conditioning coaches, well, which normally go by a different uh, part. Yeah, they're not normally the same thing. I think it's very just rare. Um, not much into track and field, so some pe some coaches might have might do both. I'm not that really familiar with that, so please excuse me if that if I'm incorrect. But that's my understanding, right? So okay, so let me give you now a few examples from my previous uh, experience as an athlete. Yeah. So before I used to play football quite a lot. I never been a good player. I wouldn't say I've been the best player. I've been like average. But I really had a big passion. I really had a, I don't know, heart for football. I really love playing that. So one example I was going to give you, I was uh, back home in my hometown in Bulgaria. We were playing for the high school and we had a team. So that team, they were like a local championship with all the schools. And whichever school, whichever team wins the championship, it goes to the next area, which is a bigger area with more teams and better teams. And then if you progress through all the competition and ranks, you might become national champion or something like that. Yeah. So we ended up going to the finals uh, on the first stage uh, and we won, I think, 2-1. And those guys, they were really, really good. So most of them, they were playing for the local football club anyway, as well as some of us in our high school. It was a really tough match. So what happened is that I was playing as a right back, as a defensor, and their forwards, their wingers, they were really, really quick. I mean, I knew these guys, so I kind of knew what to expect, you know. But even though I knew what need to expect, I still couldn't stop some of them, or pretty much most of them. 
because they had these long bows and they could always out me, they can out sprint me, they can take the bow, they can pass and so on and so on. So skill level wise we are more or less on a similar level but on a physical on a physical de a development uh, comparison they were I would say more better I would say they were better prepared than us. Yeah. They're just better athletes I would say. They were just faster, they were not sure about strong but they're definitely faster, yeah. With me as well, because I'm born in December, back then I was like 14, 15 years of age, I was a late developer, I would say. I was being that skinny guy, slow guy. So yeah, I didn't have much uh, much development going on. So I'd say I'm a late, de 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 late developer. So what happened is like, um, yeah, we managed to beat them because we had a bit more better players. Some of them were even bigger and stronger. But those guys, the wingers, they were better, they were faster than me, because I was defender. Anyway, so they couldn't score many goals, so that means that I did my job kind of okay, because otherwise I would have been shot at me a lot. So what happened is then we go on the next uh, stage, next championship. Went on the next city, or the next town, uh, we played with one of the teams. I can't remember if they were a uh, proper sports school team or no but they were really good they were really 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 fast i mean i never seen this anyone faster on my age that time you know so they were faster than pretty much everybody they were they were they were out running everyone also skill skill level wise they were better as well they had really good pressure and so on like the tactics but we didn't have a coach we were just coaching ourselves so everybody of our team we had a little bit of a um training experience in football then we thought you know what we can just figure it out essentially that didn't really work out well so yeah we went to the match we was like five or six zero that was a big big defeat for us because we had really high ambitions because pretty much we went through the whole first stage we beat everybody like four or five zero and yeah we thought like we're the real deal you know those guys were outrunning everyone so then I really understood how important is physical conditioning, how important is uh, strength, power, speed. Obviously back then when I was 14 years of age, I didn't really know much about these terms and about this discipline and how the training principles can be used to uh, get better. Uh, but I really knew that there was something on, on. I knew I could appreciate that their speed, that they were superior in their speed, it was really beneficial for them and made them better players, made them a better team, you know, that really helped them a lot. So yeah, that's how when I was the first time when I kind of saw this thing. And around back then, again, I think in Bulgaria, the gyms were quite uh, famous, and like popular, so people went to train. But I mainly consider this one about uh, people who are on like steroids, so the bodybuilders who Boko become huge, they go and compete in different bodybuilding competitions. But I never really saw that one, the gym, as a tool which you can use uh, to become a better athlete. I didn't know this thing existed until I came here. So essentially what happened with me that after high school I had to decide where I want to study uh, higher education. So I went to the UK, I went to Coventry, I started my bachelor's sports science degree and then after that one, I started my master's from this year, 2019, and now I'm halfway there. So now I'm halfway there through the second term, and uh, yeah, I have a few more months, then I'm gonna, comp then I'm gonna finish my master's degree, strength and conditioning. That's essentially how I started. That's my um, my journey so far. Let's see how it carries on, how it how it continues. But I'm think the really the point I'm trying to kind of share with you guys is that strength conditioning is really important it's not only for high level elite athletes who are competing at the olympics world championships europeans or whatever it's about every single one so it might be kids it might be children so uh, teenagers adults amateur level national level international and whatever you guys want to call it so every single level Every single athlete can benefit from that. Obviously, uh, depending on the training experience of the athlete, the different things that can be done and that should be done, uh, because no training program can fit everybody. 
because that just doesn't really work out. Everything should be more um, in individualized and specific to the person and to his needs. For instance, you won't do the tra training, training program for sprinter and for marathon, runner, right? So you have very different uh, demands of the sports. Therefore, they need to be good, a better. Sorry, they need to be good at different things, right? Anyway, that's the thing. Um, so the other thing that strength conditioning is important is apart from uh, improving performance, is for injury, injury reduction. I'll say yeah. I won't say injury prevention as you can't really prevent injuries. For as, for instance, uh, contact injuries they can never be prevented. Like no matter how strong you are, how explosive you are, how much stability you have, or whatever you, might, you guys want to call it, you know you're never gonna be able to escape from that contact injury. So, for instance, you're playing football, somebody tackles you, he hits your ankle with his boots, you twist your ankle, you sprain your ankle, you break your foot or whatever. Mm, you can't actually do much about that one, right? Well, however, non-contact injuries are what can be uh, can be reduced to a certain extent, I would say, because they still happen. So, for instance, football, a lot of injuries that happen are hamstring injuries and ACL injuries. So let's talk about ACL injuries mainly. So one of the mechanisms is knee valgus. So what happens is like when you sprint quick, uh, when you jump, when you land, when you have change of change of uh, change of direction. If the knees goes in, imagine a squat. The knees go in. That's going. Uh, that's called uh, knee valgus. So when that happens, a lot of force is going through the, through the ligaments, through the ACL and you might pretty much tear your ACL, which is not good. So by proper uh, mechanics like uh, for landing, jumping, uh, running, change of direction and so on, you might be first more aware of what you need to do and what you don't need to do, what you need to avoid. Second, by getting you stronger in these positions, in this musculature, uh, so getting you stronger also your tendons and your ligaments, being, being able to use that eccentric strength, you'll be able to reduce the chance of those injuries. Again, you won't be able to completely um, reduce the chance of in, uh, prevent the injuries, but you can significantly reduce the chance of injuries if you train well, if not what you're doing. So those are the main two points of strength conditioning. So make you uh, perform better and also keep you injury free to a certain degree. Especially if you're a professional athlete, your income comes mainly from uh, doing your sport, from competing, having these big uh, sponsorships and so on. Let's say you uh, blow out your ACO and then you're out for two years. You won't have many sponsorships, you have you won't have many deals. You probably won't be able to sign up for a new better team, you know, and so on. So, strength coaching can really make or break the athlete. That's my point. So if you do too much with the athlete, you might overtrain him, he might get an injury and so on. And then on the other side, if you underload him, he might not be able to perform as well because he won't be able to be ready for the competition and for demands of the sport. So you need to uh, find the right balance of training and recovery so the athlete can be, can be at it, at her or his uh, peak shape and condition for the date. Okay guys, let's wrap it up. That is pretty much. This is the first episode of my YouTube channel. This is my first video ever. Hope you have enjoyed that. So, we covered uh, what strength conditioning why is important. Basically, two main two main things: make you stronger and faster, uh, make you more prepared for your sport, and secondly, um, try to reduce the chance of injury. So keep you injury free, keep you healthy, keep you going, keep you training. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for your attention and for your listen. This is my very first episode, as I mentioned already. I'll be uploading this one now. And I'll be uploading more uh, YouTube videos soon, I guess maybe every one week and so on. We'll see how often I'll do that. Um, I'm going to put down in the description below my Instagram profile, my Facebook page, my personal profile as well. You can guys follow me send me messages, send me questions, things that uh, you want me to discuss. Then I'm going to upload you guys up here and we have some good discussions. I can uh, try to answer your questions and make everything a bit more clear about you and what you want to understand. At the same time, guys, please, please, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe 
like, comment, share this with your friends uh, because I want to grow, grow this channel. I want to inform as many people as I can. So yeah, if you know that, I'm gonna, really going to appreciate it. So yeah, that's it guys pretty much. Thank you and see you again soon. Maybe next week. Who knows? Nice one.